not a V-51 Mustang. Is this Stuart? Okay, yes. The Sky Raider. The Sky Raider here was one of the ones that was not at the Heritage Flight Foundation training course, but uh, Stuart Milson uh, was there, and he was flying a number of the of different aircraft, and he's got the Sky Raider in the air, and Chris Schneider will tell you all about it. 30,000 pounds of thrust at his fingertips, allowing him to achieve flight after only using 1,000 feet of runway. Ladies and gentlemen, stand up, put your hands together for Major Waters in the F-16. Traces a horizontal figure eight over the demonstration area. repositions his aircraft and demonstrates the low altitude and high speed capability of the F-16. As he passes the show center, he'll be traveling just under the speed of sound at 700 miles per hour. That's less than half the Viper's top speed of Mach 2. Well, like a speed of As he returns to show center, Major Waters will accelerate rapidly and snap the F-16 through a series of aileron rolls, demonstrating its exceptional roll maneuverability. Dropping in from the left, rain and the triple roll. Show center he'll bank sharply and accelerate through a tight turn, pressing up the seat with a force of nine times his normal weight or nine G's. In from the left, the F-16 and the four-point roll. And now, one more time from your right, watch as Rain unleashes the sound of freedom. He will floor with the sound barriers across the show center at 950 feet per second. Let's check in with him to see how fast he gets going.
and gentlemen, it's a good one to that three football fields per second. As he approaches show left, Major Waters will set up for a series of maneuvers which will demonstrate the F-16's ability to turn tight and stay unpredictable. A trait which helps the Viper survive against low altitude threats. He will then quickly transition from horizontal flight into the vertical. Ladies and gentlemen, from your left, it's the Falcon turn. Here he goes. is now slowing the F-16 to prepare for a slow speed, high alpha pass. While the Viper can fly at more than twice the speed of sound, slow speed control is just as important than those who fly it. High alpha refers to the high angle of attack at which the aircraft will be flying. We're going to be holding the Viper at a 23 degrees nose up position and moving at only 120 miles per hour. As he approaches, notice the gray paint scheme of the F-16, one that is designed to make it more difficult to identify in conditions ranging from bright sky to dull and overcast. When he reaches show center, Major Waters will apply full afterburner and accelerate his aircraft into a nearly vertical climb, demonstrating the F-16's awesome thrust to weight ratio, a maneuver we proudly call the Rock. and digital flight control systems that make the knife edge maneuver possible. From your right, the F-16 and the knife edge pass. Bright lights, big city, smell the cage, you know it's dirty, you never care. Okay, I gotcha. sets up for a maximum performance climb with a series of aileron rolls. As he pulls back on the stick, you'll see the Viper's exceptional power and rolling ability as it climbs from 300 feet to over 3 miles. spiraling descent in preparation for the dedication pass. Major Waters and the rest of the F-16 Viper demonstration team from the 20th Fighter Wing wish to dedicate this pass to the men and women from all branches of the armed forces and their families who are so bravely fighting today's joint fight. We would also like to remember our wounded warriors and veterans in attendance and those who have given their lives defending this great nation. This will be your best photo opportunity, so get your cameras ready to capture this. Today is maintained by our expert team of maintenance professionals, Tech Sergeant Louis Lopez from San Bruno, California, Staff Sergeant Austin Dixon from Auburn, California, and Staff Sergeant Ryan Davis from Wise, Virginia, as well as Staff Sergeant Trevor Griswold from Martinsville, India. Our Hitter Operator Avionics Specialist is Tech Sergeant Drew Wilson from Wichita, Kansas. The team's public affairs coordinator. 
Pioneer Senior Me, Catherine Reeves from Floresville, Texas. Oh, Make sure you take all your social media posts and photos with Pat and Viper Demo Team. So you just press the big... Okay, go. Are they going to come by together? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's so sweet. Silence like a cancer That was a money shot. It's so cool. a one-time event has grown in popularity and demand. In 2010, the Air Force Heritage Flight Foundation joined with the United States Air Force to keep this popular. seat in the wide body but underneath that in the back part of the fuselage they could put about six guys back there so it was amazingly uh, versatile and strong and powerful yet ed heineman the designer made the cockpit of that particular version of the sky raider teeny there are cutouts in the panel with leather uh, wrapped oh my god he's coming in really fast in attendance today. Oh, Who sacrifices over the years have helped oh. preserve America's freedom? We hope you it? enjoyed watching this rare formation of the flight of classic and current Air Force aircraft. Please turn with me now as this rare formation approaches from behind for its final pass. and taking pride in this rare display of more than 70 years of air power heritage.
flying in formation today are our Korean War and Vietnam War era A-1 Sky Raider being flown by Mr. Stuart Milson and a U.S. Air Force F-16 being flown by Major John Waters. Call sign Rain. Show you a 30,000 pounds of thrust does with a 27,000 pound aircraft. He looks like he's coming on, like he's gonna tear the sky up. Holy cow, he looks fast. Cameras on this might get some vapors on this. We like pass. to say he does not bring it weak. <laughs> Sky Raider is one of the few that could actually aerial drop torpedoes and mines, if I'm not mistaken. It was such a versatile aircraft. 16,500 combat missions supporting joint operations overseas. As proud members of an all-volunteer Air Force, we hope our performance has inspired you to serve your country alongside the professional men and women you see here in action today, either flying in the cockpit of an F-16 or on the ground guaranteeing its readiness to fight. On behalf of the United States Air Force, the Commander of Air Combat Command, General Mike Holmes, and all the men and women...